Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and there's something to be said every time a liberal walks into what they think is friendly territory and then gets owned. That's what just happened to Hakeem Jeffries. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please visit that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. And when you get there, hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Guys, Hakeem Jeffries went on to CBS, and he went to talk to Oprah's best friend, Gail King. Now, Gail King... Even being Oprah's best friend, I think she does a really good job as a journalist and a host. And she's not going to just let stupid stuff slide. So when Hakeem Jeffries came on there and he's talking about we have to have a family conversation, meaning the Democrats, and you know, he was talking about all the things that they have to do to improve, she was on board. She understood what he was talking about. She got it. But then Hakeem Jeffries did something, well, I, you know, I don't know if it's a coping mechanism these Democrats are doing, if it's denialism, if they actually believe the stuff they're saying, or if they believe that if they repeat the same lies enough times, they become true. But he tells Gail King that he thought it was close. The election was close. Close to what? Close to a blowout? No, it was a blowout, so you couldn't have meant that. Close? What are you, serious? Bro, she got wrecked. You got wrecked in the Senate. You lost the house that you were supposed to win back. You got destroyed, wiped out, annihilated. It was it was brutal. If it was a boxing match, they would have stopped it. Well, Gail King wasn't going to let that slide. And she called him on it the same way I just did. Maybe not as colorfully, but she did. I want you to watch what happens here, and then let me know what you think in the comments. We, you know, we were talking as in the break about how Joe Biden is the union president, working class president. So it's not that Democrats didn't have programs and results they could point to to say we're helping working families, but people didn't hear it. They felt like uh, to, David Brooks had a column recently about how Democrats are great on all kinds of inequality, racial, gender inequality, and they don't seem to care at all about class inequality. There's a respect issue. No? Well, we clearly care about making life better for everyday Americans. And it drives everything that we do from a policy perspective. But of course, we've got to figure out how we can better connect the policies that we've worked hard to implement under the leadership of President Biden and Vice President Harris. You know, infrastructure, fixing our crumbling bridges, roads, and tunnels, creating millions of good paying union jobs. That's, that's putting people first. That was a policy. That actually happened. The Chips and Science Act. Uh, which is designed to bring domestic manufacturing jobs back home to the United States of America because our jobs for far too long have gone overseas. That was a policy accomplishment that is designed to put working class people first. Even standing up a clean energy economy, uh, which is designed to make sure, of course, that we have clean air and clean water, but that that uh, clean energy economy creates jobs in the heartland of the United States of America. That was a policy accomplishment, but we have to better connect why we are doing these things and how it will lead to improving the quality of life of everyday yeah. Americans. It sounds like you're still processing, but were you stunned last Tuesday night? I'm just curious. I know lessons learned and all of that, but is it, were you stunned by what happened last Well, we knew Tuesday? going into the election, as Vice President Harris repeatedly stated, including at the convention, this is close. And it's going to be close, it wasn't close all the way through. I think at the end of the day, the popular vote will be close. I think it was, you know, an electoral college outcome that most people on the Democratic side didn't expect uh, because everything broke at the presidential level right. in terms of Donald Trump's direction. Will you lay it the out? Book is great. The book, yes. the book is great. ABC's of Democracy on sale right now. Leader Jeffries, thank you very much. Thank you.